this is one of those uh, championships. I don't know if I was the favorite going in. Um, I didn't even really believe after the insane uh, display that Corian and Harry put on yesterday. Uh, if you watched me play, you would, you would have seen that I was like visibly rattled and just kind of like you, I, I just resolved to get about two hours of sleep, three hours of sleep, and uh, take it each round. You know, just the task ahead of me. There's, there was insane upsets, um, and yeah, that's last year was one, two, three, four in the top four. This was just everywhere. Uh, it feels surreal. Um, I feel like we put on a nice little show. I, I wanted to come here. The only expectation was I wanted to kind of uh, get some good games, get the crowd involved, and I think we did that for the last couple games. Uh, the other competitors picked up the slack when mine were a little short. You know, in the first couple rounds, I, I was kind of on some side stuff. It was nonstop. Every round had just an insane ending. Um, gasps. Yeah, I saw you sweating up there. Yeah, I. Uh, you know, it's a little hot in this jacket. I wasn't really under an AC vent uh, after Chad took me that first round. Body temperature went up about three, three degrees. You know, uh, but I resolved to wear the jacket because I'm probably sweating through this undershirt pretty hard. So, does it tell me how fierce this competition was this year compared to maybe the rest of the years? Or it was unbelievably fierce. Uh, there was a couple, only a couple early top outs. You had first round games um, that were going into the 700s. Uh, it's just no one was safe. No one was safe. No one had an easy round. Corian's second round was against Alex, who went to the finals. I mean, what is going on there? So uh, we had the TGM variant yesterday, which was great. Uh, truly an international tournament. Uh, what more can I say? It's just been just fireworks fireworks all day and uh, I'm a little shell-shocked from all of it it's great I'm gonna have PTSD Tetris PTSD after all that because I don't know if, I, I'm usually calm and collected I, I have to had to get up after games uh, just completely emotionally wrecked so crazy so what are you gonna do for next year I don't know man I might have to dust off that thumb it's uh you know I might have to do a little tapping I'm gonna do that off stream I'm not gonna stream the early uh, hyper tap attempts and uh, if, if you see me drop it, you'll know what happened. <laughs> oh, man. Jonas and Hyper tapping together? I don't know. What, what's going to happen then? I mean, I don't know. Cancel the tournament? Yeah. I, have a, I have a history of family arthritis, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll accelerate the, the, the you know, overtaking of that. We'll see. Oh, man. Big congrats. Thanks, man. Any, any words for uh, the people out there? I don't know. Uh, nice. Anybody watching, thank you for, uh, for being a part of it. I think everybody was a part of it in a, in a great way. And with the Twitch involvement, uh, I think we were up to like almost 2,000 viewers, uh, which is great. It's eyeballs and, uh, and people are genuinely into it. Uh, I was really kind of heartened and emboldened by the last YouTube video because it seemed like a lot of people could not put down those videos. That's a 36 minute video that got five and a half million views. So there's just something compelling about these matches and how close they are and how at any moment a misdrop and it's done so it's crazy yeah